two years back when Bhaskar Ramurthy and I started working in the area of solar energy, primarily because of the huge problems that we are seeing with respect to power in the country, power cuts almost every day for hours. Most of us were suffering in the summer particularly. As soon as we started working on the solar energy, we saw several contradictions. Solar photovoltaic on the rooftop was giving us DC power. We were then, we are obtaining a MPPT point, a DC DC converter and then we are converting it to a AC power. Why? Because all of us just use AC power. Occasionally when we have to store the power in a battery, the battery takes power only in DC form. So, this AC power has to be now converted to DC and stored and later on when we need it, the DC power has to be again converted to AC and use it. This multiple DC to AC, AC to DC conversions were resulting into huge losses as high as 40 to 45 percent. We knew that electronics uses only DC and we are using AC to DC conversion. We started measuring the conversion efficiency. The efficiency at best would be around 70 percent, very often under 50 percent. We are losing huge amount of power, huge amount of expensive solar power. It is at that time we started deciding to work on DC power along with solar and we said we will make a difference. It has been two years. And today, I am very glad to see that this lab, CSTRI, we have actually converted it to a, a DC powered lab with a product which we have designed called Green Offices and Apartments, Goa. It takes solar power, it takes power from the grid, it has the option of a battery, everything is then taken on a DC. This is the equipment where I have one of the input is from solar panel. The solar panel input comes to this equipment. The incoming grid power, AC power comes to the equipment, converts to DC and this also has a battery storage. Then the DC power can be stored in the battery and can taken out of the battery when needed. Stored when there is surplus power, taken out when needed. We then take it to a DC line where we can add all this and then either power homes or power offices. We can power 12 homes or 24 homes. Just come with me to show you. This whole lab is DC. You see the number of lights, very similar to ordinary tube light. There is a lot of difference. These are LED tube lights. You have fans, something like 12 fans. And these fans are all BLDC, brushless DC fan, DC powered fans. We are using 48 volt DC sockets. Here are those sockets. They use a very special kind of connector. We wanted you to distinguish it from the AC connector. And this is a simple cell phone charger. And this is used with the connectors and be plugged in like this. And you can power the cell phone. You can power the laptop. You can power the television. Since we designed this brushless DC fan with the infrared. So we actually can now for example, shut this fan off simply using this remote. This fan can be turned on and turned off. This fan at the full power consumes under 30 watts as opposed to a normal AC fan which consumes 72 watts. What is more important that when I run this fan at speed 1, then at the lowest speed it consumes only 9 watts. The same remote controls both the lights and fans. I can turn it off. I can turn it on. I can dim this tube lights to very low value. Now it actually consumes only 4 watts. I can increase the brightness to about 8 watts, to about 12 watts, to 15 watts, to 18 watts. We power this tube through a DC main box. This DC main box has the circuit breaker. It is also has a meter of how much am I consuming. And in fact, I can read the meter on a laptop, on a personal 
computer, on a mobile phone, I can even get it remotely read. And as I turn off lights, the power goes down from 145 watts, suddenly it has gone to 130 watts. We have a solution which is extremely cost effective. With volumes, the cost of a DC fan will be no more than the AC fan. Cost of tube lights is going down very, very significantly, higher than CFL, but then the lifetime of these mm, lights are almost 8 to 9 years as opposed to CFL which is about a year. The plug points will not cost any more than a, 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 a AC charger and the efficiencies are extremely, extremely high. We have designed the solutions to power 12 homes, 24 homes, complex, 24 apartment in an apartment complex or rooms like this, take labs like this, offices like this, having 3000, 5000 square feet, we can actually convert all of them solar powered DC if required with the backup at a far, far lower capital cost and per unit cost as compared to anything available today. This is a unit that I mentioned was for 12 homes, 24 homes, 3000 square feet. Similarly, we have built a unit called OGH, off grid home, which is a single home unit. The single home unit is designed again to connect to solar power, connect to uh, incoming grid, may have a small battery and in a single home then power lights, fans and electronics. Again with far higher efficiency than what is available anywhere else. Thank you.